Hello YouTube. Today I want to show you something that I've learned. Um, playing Ghost Recon Online. Been playing for a long time since beta. Great game. I recently had a problem in Windows 8. I thought it was Windows 8. I went as far as to downsize back to Windows 7. Still a problem. What I'm talking about is freezing up my whole system. This is a video that I took of it and you'll see what I'm talking about. Gameplay is fine after first and third mission. See, the gameplay is still fine. See it? All of a sudden, it locks up the whole computer. You hear the noise right out of the speakers, and that's about it. You can't do nothing, no control or delete, no anything. The only thing you can do is nuke your computer and restart again. That's the problem I'm talking about. And like I say, it happens in Windows 8 and Windows 7. I thought it was a Windows 8 issue, so I downgraded back to Windows 7. Still had the problem. I finally figured out the, what the problem was. I sent in numerous tickets. I was um, texting back and forth to with the ticket through Girl Friday. She's sending me on a lot of stuff that uh, doesn't uh, work. Uh, kept on doing and doing for what three close to four weeks now still she couldn't help me out with it so what I figured out today was I've been trying everything and I figured ah, why not just reset my sound drivers so here's the problem I have myself a set of this Razer headset great headset when it came out it didn't come with any drivers or anything or any software or anything just the headset the headset worked beautiful well a couple weeks ago and probably around the same time this was happening they came out with some software um, Razer surround software great software looked cool it worked awesome you could have the seven channels and it'll go right around and you'll hear the helicopter go right around your ear and everything from left to right all the way around works great but it conflicts with Ghost Recon so what I've done was I went in there and I when I went to reset my drivers I had that program in there so I figured you know what let me take the program out and start step by step so that's what I did I took the program out took my realistic Realtek uh, drivers out and then I put the Realtek back in started up the game ran fine I played eight, nine, ten missions, not a problem with it. I didn't even want to put this software back in, and the problem just went away. So that's all I did was take that out, take uh, my audio drivers out, and reset the game. And that's what happened. Like I say, I believe it's going to help you out in Windows 7 or 8. Um, got any comments? Leave me some comments. I'll get back to you. And thanks for watching.